Hi, my name is Nelly with 1684, and I'm here to talk about our suction arm. So our suction arm, uh, we designed starting in week two with just a simple plunger that was literally on a shop vac. Uh, we had kind of dropped the idea a bit, then reintroduced it around week four, week five. And that's where we really developed our current mechanism. So the way we develop our suction is with, the, with this vacuum pump here. So the way this works is very simple. It is just a Kraken that is uh, running a gear that our pump is then hooked onto with a uh, Scottish yoke. So the way this works, it's creating a vacuum by running the suction, running the piston. It doesn't store any uh, pressure at all and has check valves at the end. Over here, we have a vacuum sensor, which is actually what helps us tell if we have a gain piece in our intake or not. So based off of how much pressure it is pulling, it'll tell if we're pouring more pressure for algae or less for coral. So with coral, we're having to pull a lot less suction due to how easy it is to pull. With algae, we're having to run a lot more. So if we come back up here to our cup here, it actually functions as two different cups. So this internal cup here is what we use for our coral. It latches on just to the face of it and it will hold on to that. For algae, we need a lot more suction for that. So the algae will attach to this whole foam cup we have here and it acts as a double cup. So both of them are being utilized. Build your alliance with so many other FIRST alumni who go to Kettering University. Head on over to kettering.edu first to learn more about their incredible programs and to get more information.